There's a Thai word, arom, which means both the object of the mind and the mood of the mind. And of course, the object of the mind, the things, the things you think about, will have a big impact on your mood. And then John Sua, I'd like to make the point that we have the right to choose our objects, choose our moods. We tend to think of the mood as something given. You wake up in the morning and you're in a certain mood, and that's going, to, it's going to color the day. But it doesn't have to. Ask yourself, what is the mind thinking about? What is it obsessed about? Is it really worth thinking about? The mood is bad. Do what you can to question it. Maybe you can't push it out, but you just question it. Do I have to have this mood? What's feeding it? To take an interest in things like this. And then when you deal with them, you deal with them from understanding. If you simply try to push the mood out, it's going to push itself back in, because you don't really understand it. So sometimes you have to be patient and watch. But try to watch with the basic cheerfulness, knowing that every problem in the mind can be solved. Now, it may be quick, it may be slow, but you don't have any problems in your mind that the, the arhants of the past, the arhants of the present, haven't already solved in their minds. And they didn't solve them because they were arhants. They became arhants because they worked and worked and worked and tried to figure things out until they finally could solve the problems. So how do you keep working, working, working without wearing yourself out? Well, try to approach the whole project of right effort as something joyful, something you enjoy doing, something you find that you can be cheerful about. You've got this opportunity to practice. So many people have no time at all. The moods come and they just have to put up with them. You can question them. If it's a complacent mood, question that. If it's a bad mood, question that. And if it yells at you and tries to convince you that it's got every right to be there, you say, yeah, but just questioning. Why does it have to be there? Maintain this basic cheerfulness, and you can face down a lot of things. So keep reminding yourself, you've got this opportunity. Yesterday you didn't know that today was going to happen for sure. Anything can happen these days. But we do have today right now. So make the most of it. Be happy that you're here with this opportunity to practice. And that ability to keep a cheerful attitude is half the battle right there. Because it teaches you to separate yourself out from your moods. No matter how much of the mind they have, you can always have your little bit of your space. Protect that. And you have what you need to see yourself through. <laughs>